Hello, welcome to Monica Riffron's Caravan Cooking Series. You find me leaning against the very impressive Bailey Unicorn Barcelona. Now, I don't speak Spanish, but no matter. Today, Mon's going to be showing us how to make egg and bacon bread rolls, but not as we know them. Hello. Um, this morning, I'm in this lovely Bailey Unicorn Barcelona, and it's just a beautiful, lovely big kitchen, and it's a really lovely sunny day, and I'm going to make bacon and egg bread rolls for you. And it's really nice because there's a nice little um, shelf that lifts up that gives me an extra little bit of space to do my preparation. So off we go. I have some strong white bread flour, which I'm tipping into my bowl. I've actually already put a little bit of sugar in there. Um, it just helps the yeast. I've got one packet of quick yeast, um, which I'm now going to find very difficult to open. There we go. And in that goes. Now, I prepared earlier, Blue Peter style, um, some bacon. And all you do is chop the bacon up really, really small and you fry it so that it's nice and crispy. So you can have a little look there. And in that goes. And then I also boiled some eggs hard boiled the eggs and I'm going to peel these eggs and put them in there and these rolls are just lovely rolls for if you're going on a little picnic um, if you're going to the beach you can just have them just on their own or you can put some cheese in them but they're just fun little rolls and strangely a caravan is a perfect place to make bread um, because it's warm there's an oven and you can always find a nice little spot to leave your dough to rise and I'm going to get my hands in here and squish these kids love doing this rub it in the egg the bacon you've got the flour the yeast and the sugar and then i'm going to add the liquid i've got some water and some oil just take care with the liquid um, there's the amount the recipe is 200 ml of water and 100 ml of olive oil but don't put it all in together. You just have to take care. Things vary so much. You just, you don't want to end up with your dough too sticky. So you take a spoon, get as much of it mixed in as you can with a spoon and you can judge whether you need to add more liquid that looks like it's the right amount of liquid. You can see all the nice bacon bits. Now I'm going to take this out of my bowl and I'm going to give it a knead on the counter. So I'm just going to flour the counter and it's lovely having this extra space and you really have to give it everything you've got. And you pick, you tuck your fingers, I'll move that bowl, you tuck your fingers underneath the dough and you pull it round. And you then move the dough around. And it's, if you've got kids or grandkids with you, it's a really, really nice, fun thing for them to do and I think but there's something about making your own that's just amazing. And I'm just looking around now for places that I'll be able to leave the 
bread to rise and there's a lovely sunny spot right in that beautiful big window that will be perfect for leaving the bread to rise. With the sun out one, can't you put it in the car? You could put it in the car actually. The car will get much warmer. That's a very good point. Well, well she's quite good at certain things, isn't he? Now look, I don't know whether you can see on camera. I'll bring the dough up to the camera if you like. You can see it's slightly changing in consistency. Right, look at that. So now I'm going to pop this in back in the bowl. I'm going to cover it in cling film. And we'll put it in the car. And I think we will do Roland's suggestion. Or we could, I think, you know, Han, I'm, I'm actually not going to go with your suggestion. Oh, thank you. Because that window there, there's some gorgeous sun coming through the window. Right. And I'm going to sit it there. Because I think that's where it's going to be happiest. There. My assistant is going to put it right there in the sun. So we can actually watch it rise. Um, okay. So now it's just a little bit of washing up to do. Oh, is that the time? I've got to go. <laughs> Roland, how's that bread looking? Wow, pretty impressive. Look at that. Wow! Yeah. That has risen really nicely. That sunny spot did the trick. Um, if you can't find a spot in your caravan, you can always put your bread in the car. Just pop it in, the, in a nice warm spot in the car and um, it will rise. So now what I'm going to do, this is called knocking back. I'm going to take it out and the feel, it's all lovely and soft and gorgeous. I'm just going to give it a very gentle knead now. And I'm going to make um, little rolls. I'm just going to get a knife out of here. If I can find one. There we go. And I'm going to make eight little rolls. So you just cut it carefully. Don't bring the knife down onto your surface because you don't want to scratch your lovely cooking surface. And this, if you've got your children or your grandchildren with you, it's just such a fun thing for them to do. And they're so proud of their bread. So there we go. We're just going to shape these and again with that little kneading action so you pick up from the bottom and pull it over, turn it over and there you go. So. When I've shaped all these rolls, and you don't have to do them in this shape, you can shape them exactly as you want to. But when I've shaped them all, I'm going to cover them in cling film and they're just going to just rise again. only going to put six on this oven dish because I don't want them, I want to give them some room.
there we go. So these are ready to be left for another 15 to 20 minutes just to rise again and then I'll put them in the oven. As you can see, it's risen again really nicely and uh, I'm just going to pop it straight in and it should take about 20 minutes. There we go. Right, the bread should be ready. Let's take a look. Oh yes, it's ready. Look, perfect. Thank you.